We have the great pleasure today to have Fritz Maurer. He and his wife have for many years been helping people to feel and function better. I believe you've been a certified clinical nutritionist since the year 2000. You're also- 2002. Thanks for being accurate. And you're also a pharmacist. Correct. So why don't you just give out prescription medicines? Well, I, I do, do still work in a pharmacy a few days a week, but people say, how can you do that? I say, well, it's my foot in the door. When somebody complains, I have a little different answer for them. And so that's kind of, you know, and it keeps you current on what things are going on and and and, and things in the marketplace and what people are taking and doing to themselves. And so when they come to you and you say, well, what medicines are you taking? Then you can kind of look into, hey, you know, maybe this is causing that problem. That's causing that problem. Oh, they're giving you medicine for this and a medicine for that. My favorite is the statin drugs. That creates more medicines being used than any other medicine ever. And most people don't really want to be on them. So I tell people, when you go to your doctor, look at, take him every side effect that you get on there. I don't care if they're obscure. And you ask the doctor, well, doctor, I was doing a little research on cholesterol. And in 1989, before the statins came out, January 2nd, 1990, what was the number one killer in America? And they, if they're smart, they'll say, well, it was heart disease. Okay, let's fast forward 30 years to 2019 prior to COVID. And what's still the number one killer? And they go, well, it's heart disease. So what have the statins fixed? Well, absolutely fixed nothing, but sold a lot more medicines, what they've done with what they block and poison in the body. Yep. When I was a young physician, I heard Dr. Paul Dudley White, who invented the electrocardiogram Mm -hmm. and was the president of the United States personal cardiologist. He pointed out that in the 1930s, if they had one heart attack a year at Mass General Hospital, they would write up the case because it was so unusual. Wow. Just a generation or two later, it was the biggest killer of Western civilization. And he pointed out correctly that it was changes in lifestyle, not a deficiency of medicine that has created the biggest killer of Western civilization is the consequences of obesity, inflammation, which I hope we get to talk about. We will. Mm -hmm. And the consequences, including diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and autoimmunity. We are bathing in many fundamental metabolic disorders. And throwing prescriptions at a lifestyle condition does not work. Proving that for years. Yes, there are about $60 billion a year of statin medicines are sold. Often people have severe side effects that either require additional medications or impair their quality of life and increase their suffering. I'm happy to tell you that I have never prescribed a statin. And the students like yourself that we have in the world know that the solution is lifestyle, nature, nurture, and wholeness, getting enough vitamins, minerals, cofactors, and omega-3 fat, and that this heals the human body. So as do you, I take a proactive prevention approach. I want people to feel and function well because their body is repairing itself. Mm -hmm. And for example, no part of you is more than 10 years old, and that's your bones. Large blood vessels and joints may be seven years. Much of you is new from last week. People talk about aging. Aging is a myth. Aging is too much bad and too little good. Aging is too much toxic (laughs) matter and too little essential nutrients, mostly because of maldigestion, dysbiosis, stomach disorders, enteropathy, and many, many other microbiome or digestion disorders. 
when you correct the digestion, much gets better. Exactly. And then you can see what else is needed to complete the job. Yep, exactly. Now, interesting thing, I uh, had a book. Uh, not your, I, I don't have your book, but I. But anyway, I have a book by Dr. Matthias Rath, who was Linus Pauling's understudy. And in the first, second paragraph of that book about the heart, he says, you know, animals don't get heart attacks. He says, they, you know, they make they make vitamin C, and we humans don't. And he said, I'm going to say all cardiovascular disease is early stage scurvy. And I thought, well, that's really an interesting thought. And then they did a study back in the 60s in Memphis, I believe it was, where they took men and they uh, analyzed their diet. They were eating about 110 milligrams a day. They took a group with placebos. And then the other group, they gave an extra 190 milligrams. And when they all died of natural causes, they added up the months they lived and then they divided by the number of people left. And they came up with a group that got just an extra 190 milligrams of vitamin C a day, lived an average of six years, not months, but years longer. So, wow, that kind of makes sense when you hear those two things put together as a picture story, so to speak. So mm -hmm. that story was told to me by Albert San Giorgi, the fellow who isolated mm -hmm. nature's ascorbate from Hungarian paprika. And he says he did that because his wife, who was a very good cook, used to make chicken paprikash, which is chicken with paprika, which he did not like. <laughs> so I heard him say, now this was just, this was just showing how human he is. Mm -hmm. and I heard him say, I thought if I took all the paprika out of the garden, she wouldn't be able to make chicken paprikash. And then he, <laughs> everyone laughed. And then he pointed out, that he was studying the chemistry of paprika, which remains red after it dries. And mm -hmm. therefore, he concluded there must be a powerful reducing substance in the paprika. And ascorbate was born. He also, wow. pointed, out, he also pointed out that in biology, ascorbate is as important as light and oxygen. That's really, really important. That is, yeah. And we now know how to individualize nature's ascorbate intake using the C-Cleanse. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I do that, that with help. It helps many people. We find out how much disrepair they're in or how much inflammation they've had over the years. And the more they need, the more disrepair they have. So, yep. And I remember you telling me at a vitamin C conference years ago in Chicago, I asked, well, how's the, what's the highest person you ever gave vitamin C to in a flush? And I think you said a nurse was up over 400, over 400 grams. 320 grams. She was a nurse who had psoriatic arthritis mm -hmm. and had been in pain for more than 20 years. Wow. And she got up to ask how much was the most that anyone needed. And I said a lot, you know hundreds <laughs> and she said it took me 320 wow and i said why did you persevere why did you continue to the cleanse to the flush itself she says doctor i was desperate i couldn't live my life in pain i'm here because i'm now an advocate for what you recommend and i want you to know it works it does. It does. Every time people to, do it. But you have to put in a little effort. You know, th this is not something that information and inspiration is enough. You also have to put in a certain amount of perspiration, a certain amount of effort. And then you throw your repair guard in and it makes it kind of one plus one equals more than two. And uh, ever since you invented repair guard, I have uh, been on uh, one a day, and I figure like if I'm on, if I'm always on offense, I'm fixing things before they really get bad. How can I lose the game? So that's that's what I do. I do well, my so. vitamin C and yeah, and my repair guard daily. Now, if I have something going on, I'll bump it up a little bit, but but normally that doesn't happen very often. So recently doing something foolish, I ended up with a black eye. Fortunately, my eye was fine. My vision was fine. But I looked like I had a black eye. Mm -hmm. I took four repair guard an hour while awake. In three or four days, it was mostly gone. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. It didn't go from blue to green to yellow to going away. It just went away. Wow. Yes, when we're in an acute situation, we might need more of the polyphenolics and more of nature's ascorbate. And we should give ourselves the self-care to know how much we need, and that's how much we should take. That's right. So now we want to talk about inflammation. We've kind of been hitting on it, but now we want to talk about inflammation. Yes. So it's, it's uh, there's, like, say we discuss inflammation there's basically acute which is part of the healing process and it's okay to have that for a short time it, it reminds you you need to fix that and that's a, what pain does god gave us pain to remind us we need to fix that and if the pain doesn't go away guess what we're in what they call chronic inflammation or instead of acute inflammation and this is where we really need to focus is in that area because that's what a lot of people in america are in due to the imbalance of our foods and our fish oils and all the wonderful things that God made to run our bodies. Um, our lifestyle and our poor diets, uh, they really contribute, like you said earlier, to all these problems. So we hope we can kind of focus on the good things that you can do to help with inflammation. So, so yes, today we know a lot more about nature, nurture, and wholeness. We know a lot more about inflammation really being repair deficit, and you can stimulate repair in the human body in natural and effective ways if you're willing to personalize the proactive prevention my now, i have the opinion oh go ahead i have the oh. opinion and you can correct me on this if i'm wrong if somebody came in and said i'm going to take one thing to fix myself i would have to pick the vitamin c and say but you have to take as much as i tell you is that not a correct well it's a, it's certainly a very good place to start mm -hmm. And yes, start with vitamin C, but then mention that personalizing with the C cleanse right. dramatically improves everything else because ascorbate plays a role in almost every part of biology. We could get into the details, but it's remarkable how many things ascorbate, nature's reduced buffered ascorbate, does to promote well-being. And it lets you know what else needs to be done if anything else needs to be done mm -hmm. so i agree with you i don't recommend one thing but no, if i don't I recommended agree. one thing if i if i recommended one thing it would be to start with a scorbit correct mm -hmm. that's what i think too yeah uh, monks, but usually you get people on several things to make a difference. Uh, you know, we in the nutrition side we have a window of opportunity with new new people coming in if you don't make a little difference right off the bat, they're just going to forget and leave you. So I try to set and educate and tell them what inflammation does and what it's about and how to fix it and how to repair it. And like I say, then I throw that little homeopathy in for a little quick fix when they stand there and hold it and their inflammation goes down. They go, oh, I kind of get that. You know, it's pretty, pretty interesting when you do some of those things like that. So, mm -hmm. but yes, yeah, there's a whole very, program. That goes it's very through. satisfying. Yeah. It's very satisfying to see results in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. when they've been suffering for years or decades because proactive is different than reactive our conventional care system is symptom reactive and it's based on breaking down and patching up i started to mention that my dad at 90 was taking many supplements but not any prescription medicines the average 90-year-old is taking 12 prescriptions, half of them for the side effects of the other half. Mm -hmm. My main teacher, Bonte, at 110, was taking some supplements, taking no prescription medicines because he didn't have any symptoms. When you promote repair in the human body, you get many, many dividends. Restorative sleep, better digestion, better detoxification, better feeling and functioning well for a lifetime of health, what we now call a health span, not just a duration. A life. So thank you so much for all you do, you and your wife together. Thank you for being an enlightened and informed pharmacist, as well as a helpful guide and information inspiration specialist. We've known each other long enough to know better. I'm glad we're still interacting and enjoying each other's company. 
And I want people to know that if you see Fritz Moore or his wife, you will be in very good hands. <laughs> They're going to have to look for me. Brazil, Indiana is kind of an obscure place. You know that? <laughs> We're needed wherever we are. That's exactly. You're needed every. We're needed everywhere. Yes. Yes. So thank you again. Thank you. All you do and all you are.